streets, you know what's up, you gotta keep it on Any day they survive and why, cause they keep fire Niggas know this keeping it a Benji, we do not lie What's up, Dice Crew, keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all Now look, I'm sure y'all all done caught it by now Because it been all over social media and stuff like that by now, right? But Yellow Beezy was approached by this uh, white so-called rapper, I guess. And I guess he from Texas, too. You know, Yellow Beezy from Texas. Texas. But however, dude runs up on Yellow Beezy. He got a camera out. He keep acting like he want to fight Yellow Beezy or whatever. But then in the same mix, he keep talking about Yellow Beezy got a gun. And then he went down the path of saying that Yellow Beezy got a gun because he a white boy and he did 10 years and, you know, nobody wants to take an L to the white boy. And in some cases, in some rooms and scenarios, I could definitely see that. Like, you know, people don't want to, I mean, other, depends on the room, no race probably want to lose to no other race. You know, in some settings, I'm sure a white boy don't want to lose to a black guy. You know, like in other races and so on and so on. So I kind of get that. But my thing is this. You know, you acting like you want to fight. You approaching a man in the streets where pretty much when you approach a problem in the streets, it's like not really no rules. Things can happen however it happens. Then, you know, it seemed like Yellow Beezy, he got closer with dude and he was like willing to fight. But dude got the camera out and he keeps screaming out, Yellow Beezy got a gun. And I just can't respect that for a few different reasons. Like, let me tell you why. Because first off, I think that dude was obviously clout chasing or looking for an attention. Now, I never heard of him and I don't know him, but he might have some type of buzz around him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not familiar with him. But that don't mean, you know, I'm not trying to bash him or nothing like that. But then next thing is that if you approach a person, you should be willing to answer for your choice that you make. You shouldn't approach a person or try to get in somebody's space or get in their energy and turn around and be like trying to dictate the playing field. Because when you run up on somebody, people got the right to be in fear or worry or at least take precaution. Not saying that that's what uh uh yellow beezy was scared or anything, but I'm just giving out some possibilities of that's what's natural for anybody. You know, you just approach a per- approach a person, don't know you, or maybe he do or not, whatever, but you approach a person like you want a problem. People could take that as a threat and they got the right to. In some places, you know, a person got these stand your ground laws and a person might can get away with doing something to you. Which also means that you kind of wanted to have a problem with a person, but you just didn't really want to have a real problem with a person. See, we got to all be mindful in life. Like everybody is human and everybody is grown. And we got to know, like, either it's something that we should just let go and move along around or move around or move away from or be willing to answer or take that problem to the further extent. That's just my belief, you know. Then third, I have a problem with you just keep broadcasting and saying something about him having a gun. Like, you know, maybe you looking for some uh, police attention. Maybe you're trying to get him in jail. Maybe you're trying to make it seem like you just somebody that a person need a gun for when like and I'm not saying that Yellow Beezy had a gun. I didn't see it. I don't know. But it's just you saying that. But it's also like maybe you just saying that stuff because you wanted the the clout, but you didn't really want the altercation. So you made that an excuse. But also it shows that you're an idiot because it's like why you didn't bring your gun to approach a situation. It's not really wise because if somebody do something to you, your family and everybody got to lose out just because you pretty much was starting something. Now, maybe you got a personal, maybe dude got a personal problem with Yellow Beezy or he don't. I don't know. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? 
But when you approach a person, you should be ready to answer for what come with it. And it's like, you know, I don't know what you call yourself. I don't know if you lean on like calling yourself a street guy or whatever. But dude was talking about he did six years and this and that and acting like he got a major squabble. So, you know, it's like when you get to talking all that, he got a gun, he got a gun. These are police vibes. So which one are you? You know, because if you want to be that much of a civilian or a cop, then you need to set up a, a celebrity boxing or a contained issue. But she don't just run up on somebody in the, you know, the jungle without it being a contained situation and don't expect things to go any kind of way it can happen. So that's how I'm going to sum it up, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Keep it a Benji for me. If not, don't jump in. Shout out to the Dice Crew. Feel me. I feel like dude shouldn't have been screaming, dude. Yellow BZ got a gun. Feel like that was police vibes. Feel like if that was the truth, then you should have just kept that all off the internet and the phone. I feel like if you wanted a problem, you should have walked up on dude ready that for that problem in any kind of way and wherever, whatever come with it. And I also just feel like, you know, you had the same opportunity to try to do whatever you wanted to do. But maybe you just didn't really want to do something to him. You just wanted the attention. I don't know. But I don't agree with it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't agree with due response to the whole video and stuff like that. But that's just me. So like I said, I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Shout out to the Dice Crew. Keep it a Benji for me in the comments. If not, don't jump in. And I'm out. When you hit the streets, you know what's up. You got to keep it on. Any day they survive and why? Because they keep fire. Niggas know this keeping it a Benji. We do not lie.